the one big green egg accessory you can't live without, the egg expander. So, you've got your big green egg. What do you do first? First thing, get yourself a five piece expander system. It comes like, just like this. This is everything that you need to start with. There's lots of accessories to go with it, egg accessories that is, to go with it. We're gonna go through each one of them and show you how to use it and what's great for your setup. Before you do that, I need you to do me a favor. Hit subscribe to our channel, it's right here. Just click on that banner right there, all right? Give us a subscription, let us know that you're here. Leave us a comment, we're comment driven, all right? But I'm excited to get started on this, so let's dig right in. If you don't know what the expander is, you're missing out. Let me tell you about it. It's a multi-level cooking system that's made for both the large, the XL, and I believe even the 2XL if you're fortunate to have that big giant. But this is the XL setup right here. It comes with your top grate, which is for raised cooking. It comes with two half moon grates for your regular size cooking, grilling, stuff like that. You can also use your regular grate that comes with the big green egg. And it also comes with this expander basket. I'm gonna show you how to use each and every part of this here and all the different accessories that come with it to make the most out of your expander experience. Now, when you bought your big green egg, you probably also got a convector with it or a plate set or whatever you want to call it, all right? This can be used perfectly in conjunction with the expander if you want to do indirect cooking. Remember, indirect cooking means no flames directly below the meat. The flames are going to be underneath, causing indirect heat to come around and up onto it. So let me show you how to put this into the expander. It's really easy. This is for the XL. So here we go. It fits right into these grooves. You can see the notches that are cut out in the expander here, and it fits right in there for ease of use. Now that was how you put the convector in for the XL. The large is a little bit different because if you see here, there's no grooves cut out for these legs to fit in. So there's two different ways to do it. The first way is from underneath. You set it in here and you kind of hook this corner into, into this groove spot like that and just turn it in like that and just swivel it in. And there you go. Expander set up with a convector in it for the large. Now that's how you put it in with the swiveling method. There's another way to do it as well. Okay. All you need to do is you kind of take it in from above like this and you hook one underneath and put it all the way up in, set it down and just slide it into place. Now, if you don't have a convector and you only bought the half moon pizza stones or baking stones, which these are, you can use these in place of the convector with the expander system. It's real simple. You just place each one in a circular spot like this and boom, instant deflector you're cooking indirect without a convector. The great part about this expander is there's so many different accessories available to it, so you can open up your, whatever you're gonna cook, your methods of cooking, into so many different possibilities. First one I wanna talk about is it's called a cast iron half moon plancha. It comes two sides, one is flat like this, and one has grill grate marks on it. So if you wanna get some nice marks on your food, you can use this side. Either way, uh, it works the same way. But the nice part about this thing is if you wanna get it really hot, Okay, you can use it down on the lower level. It fits right in and sits right in there. So you can have indirect on one side and you can have your plancha on here. You can make smash burgers, you can use it for searing. It's a great, great, great item. If you don't want to use it on the lower level, okay, you don't want quite so much heat with it, guess what? It fits right onto the top level as well. The beauty part about the expander system is all of these half moons will fit on the bottom rack and the top rack as well. So this is a really nice accessory to have. Works very well for searing, um, cooking vegetables. It's great for a lot of different things, especially peppers and onions. Ooh, so good. So we're just cruising through the accessories here. Another really cool one is what's known as the vegetable basket. It's a half moon. It sits on top of the grate, okay? This one doesn't, doesn't like click in, all right? It was, it'll just fall through. So you do have to use a grate with it, but it sits right on top, which is nice because if you're cooking, let's say indirect, you can have your indirect food over here, have your vegetables roasting over here. The next best thing you can do about it, if you want some direct grilling, the nice part about the half moon system, you just take one out and now you've got direct flames underneath your vegetables too if you wanna give them a little char on them, something like that. Another great invention for the expander system is this. It's the cast iron grates. When you buy it, the five piece system comes with your regular stainless grates. Awesome for grilling, they're awesome, they work great. But cast iron will actually do a couple things that your regular grates won't do. All right, this side is basically what I like to call the searing side. This is gonna be cast iron. You can set this down in the expander. You can set it low or high. And what it's gonna do is if you're looking for grill marks when you're cooking a steak, you want those nice crosshatch patterns, looks like a tic-tac-toe board on your steak, then this is what you need. This is gonna give you far better 
grill marks than your regular stainless grill. You're cooking fish, a little different story. Flip it over, okay, this side has flat. The, the each tine in the, in the grate here, in the grid, is actually flat, so you're gonna have a much nicer surface for cooking your fish with, as opposed to this side, which is pointy, which is gonna give you absolute beautiful grill marks. Let's say you're doing some two-zone cooking. What is two-zone cooking, Ron? Well, let me tell you. It's when you have indirect on one side, okay, so you can cook your steaks up here indirect for like a reverse sear type method or something like that, and then you're gonna have direct here. If you wanna sear your steak at the end, so you've hit your 120, 125 degrees here, that's when you have your cast iron grate in. You can have it either in the top position like this, or you can keep it on the lower one like this, so that when you take your steak off of the direct side, you could even let it rest if you wanna really crank up the flames, but you can take it and just set it here on this hot, hot, hot cast iron, and it's gonna give you absolutely beautiful grill marks. Now, I just mentioned something that I wanna make sure that you know what it is. I mentioned dual zone cooking. You're gonna have direct, meaning flames directly under your food on one side and indirect on the other. So if you wanna reverse sear a steak, like I said, you can have the steak over here basically roasting to your desired temperature of say 125 degrees. Then when it's done, you just switch it over to the direct side and catch your flames and get your sear going sort of for an unbelievable steak. When you buy the five piece expander system, it comes with this part too. It's another level, another tier of cooking. It comes with the rack and it comes with an upper grate. You'll see it has these hooks in here and what they do is they hook into here. So I'm gonna show you how to cook on a whole third level because you've got your lower level where we talked about you can sear. We've got your raised grid and now we've got this third level of raised grid direct. It's perfect. Let me show you how to put it in and what it's for. For one, it fits right in and slides right in right above the grates. So there. This third level adds so much dimension to the expander, it's unbelievable. There's a lot of uses for it. First of all, what I like is that as you're cooking, you can have food up here, food down here. But what happens if you need to get to your food down here, you need to access it? Really simple, you slide this back, the hooks hook in, and you can access your food right here and make any adjustments you need to and put it back in here, okay? So you're, now you're all hooked in. The beautiful part is, is that, let's say you have a tray of vegetables. You got a pan full of vegetables, and you got them cooking on the lower rack. Set your meat up over it. Let all those fats drip down into those vegetables and just add a ton of flavor to whatever you're cooking right below it. One of the things that I like most about this is that Big Green Egg, when they put this thing together, they really put their planning behind it. They covered all of their bases. So we've got the top slid back. We're working on our vegetables or whatever it is we have here. And we get all excited in our cooking, right? Well, when you close it, guess what it does? It automatically sets it right back into place. The dome will actually push the grate back forward into place so that you can't mess it up. Pretty cool, Big Green Egg. Good thinking. Since so many of you have been watching our Big Green Egg series, which by the way is available on the playlist, you can click it down below, I wanna show you a really, really cool secret about this expander. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our grate off, but you take this top rack, turn it upside down, and you set it inside like this. Why would you do that, Ron? What's that for? Because we're gonna take our grate that goes on top, and we're gonna set it down in there. And if you wanna do caveman searing, but you don't wanna put your steak right on the coals, do it just like this. This is super right above the coals, super hot searing action. You just turn the expander top part upside down, put the grate in there, and drop your steak right over the coals. It's almost the same as caveman searing. Shh, don't tell anybody, that's our little secret though, okay? All right, I know we've covered a lot of territory so far. We got a couple more to go, but so, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? <laughs> the walk is an awesome accessory to use with the expander system. Now you can buy this part by itself. This is the convector basket. You can buy this by itself and the walk fits right in here. It doesn't matter which size you're using. If you're using the large or the extra large, it fits right in there. So let me show you how to put it in the egg and we'll move on to the next item. How's that sound? This is a really easy setup. You simply place the basket in there just like that. And the installation is very difficult. Here it goes. The nice part about this thing is it fits right in here. The flames are gonna come up and the way that a wok works is that it heats everything, the whole entire thing. So you got the flames that are come up around it, which is great, but make sure that you get one of these heat gloves, all right? Protect your arm because the heat will come up from here. Um, you can sit here as you're working, you're gonna be burning your arm here. So this, this glove from Big Green Egg really helps a lot when you are walking and rolling. The Pizza Stone is one absolutely excellent accessory that you absolutely need if you want to make pizzas. And the Big Green Egg is a pizza 
cooking machine. You can look back at a couple of our videos. We made some really cool ones. So this is really simple. All right, you've got your convector in, or you have two uh, half moon pizza stones down there. You got your grate on here. All you need to do is have the convector with the legs up and simply place your pizza stone on here. Now, there's all different schools of thought, hot, cold, whatever you want, however you want to cook your pizza, or I should say hot or even hotter. I cook my pizzas around 500 degrees. You can cook them seven, 800 degrees. Whatever you like is what's right. But this pizza stone, heat it up with the grill. So when you light your charcoal, okay, you got your charcoal lit, just set this whole thing in here, just like that, and let it heat up with the grill. And it's gonna take about an hour for that pizza stone to heat up, but it's gonna make the best pizzas you'll never wanna order out again. Domino's who? Here's an excellent thing about the expander too that I wanna share with you. So you've got your setup here. Now, you can take this top one out and you've got your half moon grates, right? Well, the good news is if you wanted to keep these on the lower rack, you know your original grate that you got with your big green egg that came with it? Well, look at this. <gasps> Fits right on there like a glove too. How excellent is that? <laughs> I love the egg puns. But anyway, so that's what you can do with the egg expander. Listen, I hope that you've enjoyed this very much. Don't forget to give us a subscribe, a thumbs up. It's right there. Just go ahead and hit like right now. Go ahead and hit it and leave us a comment. Tell us any videos that you'd like to see. If you have questions about your big green egg or you're not sure of how to do something, I'd love to help you out. Let us know in the comments what we can cover in a video about big green eggs, Kamados, or anything like that. We would love to answer those questions. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. The expander is a just a fantastic, absolutely accessory. I, I can't imagine that I ever cooked on my egg without it. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out our Big Green Egg playlist and tune in again, get out and grill, and we'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.